Question 34 states that on a bumper car ride, friends smash their cars into each other head on, and each has a speed change of 3.2 meters per second. If the magnitudes of acceleration of each car during the collision averaged 28 meters per second, determine the time interval needed to stop and the stopping distance for each car while colliding while specifying your observer. So our observer here, or a reference frame, is somewhere outside the system of two cars crashing into each other. So we're gonna say maybe an observer watching or the earth itself, something like that. So whatever you choose to use. But if you think of the scenario what's happening for, I mean, there's two cars, two cars bumping into each other. So they're traveling towards each other. So the velocity of each in each direction um, is not known, but we do know the speed change. So once they collide here, the velocity is going in, going out. So for one specific car, this change in velocity is negative 3.2. I won't do that. I'll just put the variable here. It's traveling in the opposite direction. It's V, delta V, and it's accelerating in that same direction, A. So after they hit, the for example for one driver, it gets pushed back the opposite direction of collision and it's um, both with this change in velocity and this acceleration. So part, the first part of this question is to look for the time interval this re is required for this to occur. So we can say that the um, time required is simply just the change in velocity over the acceleration, which we're given the magnitudes of each, but really, again, interpreting it from the scenario here, both of these terms um, we're just looking for change, really, so it doesn't really matter, but both are occurring in the negative direction. But for the time being, we don't need to consider that. We just need to change. Think of it as an absolute value for each of these. So our change in um, velocity is 3.2 meters per second, and our acceleration was 28 meters per second squared. So we can find the time interval needed is 0.114 seconds. However, um, we only need two significant digits to report our answer, so it's 0.11 seconds is the appropriate response. The distance needed to stop, we use the kinematic relationship of initial velocity times time. Here, again, we should think of it as a negative because it's a negative acceleration, um, sort of as a, oh, not a two, it should be A, um, one half actually, I mean, it's a negative reaction for traveling to the right direction. This acceleration is what's occurring afterward, where we're given initial velocity is the same as this delta, is, should be the same as V, 3.2 meters per second. This acceleration in the negative direction is the stopping distance. If I'm traveling this way with V, I hit something and I accelerate backwards and stop and see Newton's law of opposite and equal reaction. So. While my initial velocity here is positive, that's the direction of motion that I'm traveling. Um, I know my time interval. I'm gonna keep it as 0.114 because that's the amount, you want more significant digits when you're performing intermediate calculations. So I'll leave that. But again, acceleration should be negative. Negative 28 times time squared. Again, 0.114 squared. And we find that this stopping distance is 0 0.18 meters or if you want you can leave it as 18 centimeters. Since both have two significant digits, they are both equally as accurate. So there you go.